All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and if you are a Muhammadan, invite your four wives and 78 kids. Um, today, uh, we don't really have a topic. We are just going to have fun, and we will discuss some issues. The Muslims try their best to refute me. And, uh, you know, I understand you are a Muslim. I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, do you think really a Muslim will say Christian prince is saying the truth? I mean, do you think that is going to, to happen? The only way for a Muslim to say Christian prince is saying the truth is to leave Islam. That is the fact. I mean, remember, we are talking about those who they kill if somebody insults their prophet. Right? But because they are coward, by the way, those who make videos, they don't dare to say, we want to kill you. Because they are coward potatoes, you know? They don't dare to, to practice Islam. They are potatoes. So, no, see, they, <laughs> what the hell? Ho, ho. Anyway, so uh, uh, a Muslim, I'm not going to say his name because he's so little to even to mention his name. He said that Paul is in the commentary of the Quran. Is not in the Quran. Christian prince is lying to you. You know, the, the Muhammadan, those Muhammadan, they remind me of an, uh, a Muslim soldier in the border of Iraq. Uh, he was checking the cars going through the borders. And he opened the back uh, of the car of Volkswagen Golf. Volkswagen. And he found an engine. He screamed, Allahu Akbar, this guy is smuggling engines. <laughs> they don't even know what to open and what to close. You just open a hole in your profit bomb. Because if you are saying that this is in the commentary, it says that Paul is a messenger of Allah. The question is why in the commentary they are saying that and those audio scholars, are they liars? They are like Christian prince? In one of the videos, this Fufu, he said, uh, he is quoting the Christian CP. No worries, it says that you are a big fat liar, you potato. And I challenge this potato to call me and show me where it says he's quoting the whole page in front of us. But he admitted with his weird voice that it's in the commentary. And this is a video he just posted two days ago or a day ago. And the funny they are saying, Finally, CP, he answered my videos. You are too little to answer you, my friend. I'm busy. First of all, I'm not even home. I'm far away from my home. And actually, today, I just got a chair to sit in. You believe it? I just got a chair now. <laughs> I just got it. This is the first time I use it. Actually, it's not really comfortable. I, I might, I don't know, but what I can do. Anyway, so I'm not, uh, you know, uh, I, I have many busy things to do, my friend. And we hit the head of the snake, not little tiny tail of a lizard. When we show them anything, they, for sure they will reject because this is will de demolish their lies. Paul is a bad person. Paul is a disgusting person. Paul is a thief. Paul is a liar. Paul, and then we find that they are scholars, not those puppies, saying that Paul is the verses in the Quran speaking about. The question why those scholars are saying that, and he admitted. And all of them, they admitted. And then they start coming with saying it is a weak uh, statement. No, it doesn't say it's a weak statement. That's why he is quoting it, and he is saying it. A bunch of potatoes. They found an engine in the back of the car. And I know, sometimes I feel like uh, they are coming from different galaxy. Like, you know, this potato, when he uh, was refuting somebody about the splitting of the moon, he said, the, the reason nobody saw, no historian, nobody saw the moon splitting because it happened for a second or maybe less than a second. I mean, look at this miracle. Allah, he farted, silence fart, nobody saw it in the dark. So he split the moon and nobody see it because it happened for a second. <laughs> I mean, low IQ, man, low IQ stupidity. You just admit it that nobody saw it. You are officially certified uh, alien. Now, uh, they say too that uh, Sunan Ibn Majah and, uh, you know, those are not Sahih Hadith. You know, if we go right now to the internet, internet, huh? and we open Islamic website, Islamic website, what we will find? 
we will find that they are counting six authentic books. You liar. You said Sunan Ibn Najah is not a Sahih book. It's called authentic book. Sahih is the name of the book. This is why Sahih uh, Muslim is called Sahih Muslim because this is in the title. You are an idiot. If we go now to any Islamic website and search Sahih Muslim, Sahih, you know, why they are there? Because those are the most highly classified stupid books of, of Muhammad. So look, this is the answer here is made by Muslim, not by me. Which is or which or which hadith books are most authentic in Islam? A person his name is Muhammad Aryan is asking. Hmm? And then he received many answers. Tawseef Warsi, a Muslim, look at this, Tawseef, his name is Tawseef. <laughs> I mean, even when they choose Arabic names, they choose the funniest. Number one, Sahih al-Bukhari. Number one, Sahih Muslim. Number one, uh, three, uh, Sunan Abi Dawood. Uh, 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 number four, uh, Jami al turmudi Number four, and, uh, and, and then number six, Sunan Ibn Majah. Those are the authentic books, you idiot. So why you call them authentic if they are not authentic? So let us make it uh, this way. In Islam, if Muslim they call it authentic, it doesn't mean it's authentic. Muslims lie. It's not authentic. Those are false books. Actually, I believe all of them. They are uh, all of them. There is not a single word there is a truthful. Muhammad never says something truthful. I need to restart. Eh, I'm losing the internet again. Yeah. See, like we 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 say to them, you know, our internet is not good. I'm not even home. And then they say, oh, you're making videos for me. You are no one to make videos for you, potato. Okay, now the connection is good. Sorry, for, sorry for that, guys. Uh, no, my internet here for some reason is not a stable. I know for the last week it was fine, but look like now it's coming back to do the same stupid thing. Let us hope it's going to function. Yeah. So as you see, this is Muslims. Here we go. Mr. Asad Jalil is answering. For Sunni. The most authentic collection are Bukhari, Muslim, Ibn Dawood, Turmudi, Ibn Majah, and Nasai. So if those are not authentic, why you call them authentic? Ibn Uthman is giving you an answer. Muatta Imam Malik, An Nasai, Abu Dawood, Ibn Majah, Turmudi. <laughs> Gar garbage in, garbage out. They are, they are confused. So, what they are Muslims saying to us, we Muslim, we call our books authentic, but they are not authentic. Don't listen to us, we lie. When we say authentic, it's not authentic. If we say black, it's white. If we say white, it's black. Hmm. Uh, look at this, uh, uh, j just to show you how Muslims are funny. Guys, is, my, uh, is the video running fine? Is the video running fine? I hope the I hope the screen is running fine. You know, what I can do? Look, Mr. Free Kakakuta. I mean, even their names is weird. Insha Allah, asal Allah an yuhdika wa an yu'atika nuran li qalbayk. Qalbayk. Muhammad he told them that the man he have two hearts. This is what what he said in the Quran. And the Muslim they claim this is a miracle. But look what he said. I, may Allah, inshallah, if Allah will. This is the problem in Islam. Islam is a stupid cult. According to Muslims, according to the Quran, it is Allah will that we don't believe. It is Allah will. You know, as long as you mention this, let me show you. Here we go. Just to show you how stupid this cult is. This is, a, this is official dummy. This is, Islam is a religion for dummies, not for smart people. وَلَوْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ مَا أَشْرَكُوا <laughs> So why you are asked? I mean, inshallah, Allah is willing. You know, your God, Allah, He willed already. 
you people are you are out of your mind your prophet he is a mentally ill person this guy is a drunk he's taking too much hashish had Allah will they will not been so this is Allah will this is Allah will what Allah will is you will be a kafir just to show you how stupid Muhammad is if we go in the hadith let us open another hadith everything you do is by the will of Allah as an example if you are like Muhammad a person who cannot keep his private part in his panty look what Muhammad said about what's happening to you and look now they will say it's a weak hadith this is a weak hadith this is Sahih Muslim Sahih Muslim it's called Sahih but it's not Sahih remember that uh, uh, hadith number 2657b Verily Allah, the Allah Muhammad saying, has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in. Will what? Will do it. It's not, it's a fixed portion by, by Allah. It's not you who decide to sleep with this woman or that woman. No. There is a woman she called a sheikh. And she said to him, well, I am now 30 something years old and I'm afraid, uh, you know, in the Middle East, if you are 30, you became so old. Nobody will marry you. They like to marry kids. So you are a grandma. Uh, so I'm afraid I will not get married. What the sheikh, he said to her, he said, my daughter, don't worry. The prophet said every private part, I'm not going to say the word vagina, but this is what the word is. <coughs> it is written in every vagina the names of those who is going to do boom boom to it you believe it it's written on every vagina so he is saying to this woman don't worry about what because what Allah he wrote for you will happen you cannot change that. So if Allah he wrote for you that a man will do boom boom to you, he will do boom boom to you. Let me see if I can find the hadith uh, in English. I don't think I can find it in English, but we will try. <clears throat> For sure, they will say to you, this is not Sahih. All of them, they are not Sahih. <clears throat> yeah. Let us see if we can find it. Anything is embarrassing. The Muslims today, you know, Erdogan, he made a conference in Turkey. To, uh, and the purpose of the conference is to filter after all the filtering because this is after filtering the 1400 years remember all those things we see in the front of us this is after filtering all the big the big 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 potatoes of Islam they say though the, my book is written after filtering this is the point of those uh, books actually is filtering what is what is not good and having what is good to keep it otherwise why is there But anything uh, is embarrassing. And why you Muslims quote it if it's not uh, true? Why this uh, Shaykh is quoting it for this woman if this hadith is not accepted? <laughs> but anyway. As you see, everything you do in your life is written for you by Allah. This is the belief of the Muslims. They believe in Al-Qadr. 
And Al-Qadr is something very stupid in Islam, destroy Islam actually, because when you say that my adultery is not my adultery, is adultery of Allah. So why you want to punish me for Allah, something he wrote for me? You see, they will say to me, uh, like when they want, they accept the translation. When they want, they refuse the translation. As an example, uh, uh, one of the Fifi's, uh, Muhammadan, he said uh, about the, the verse in the Quran that the woman, she offer herself to the Prophet. About women offering themselves. It says, it says here, with her, with her. Do you see the word with her? With her. He with? Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't say that in the Quran, you idiot. And we can show that everybody, we can go right now and we can check the word nikah or nukah. Uh, and you will see that uh, this is a word about physical act. Actually, I changed the Muslim to say that word when he go to engage to a woman. Go to their family, I will say, I want to do nikah to your daughter. They will kill you. So here in, the, in this chapter, uh, in the translation, they say, that uh, any woman she offer herself any believing woman she give herself into the prophet you see in this translation they don't put the word with her because she give herself doesn't say with her she says what habit what habit we can go right now we can use google translation what habit it's mean giving herself and what she will give him exactly i mean what she can offer They claim that this is marriage and they claim that this is a marriage without dowry. Okay, well, hold on. I will go with your stupidity. Why this is a privilege for the Prophet that women, they can offer themselves, as you said, without dowry. Why is that? I mean, your Prophet, he is short of money, but he needs sex. So Allah decide to ask women to give donation. <laughs> he have already 13 wives. He have hundreds and thousands of slaves. Why he's doing this? This guy is mentally ill. So as you see, he make things have to do with his panty as a privilege. Privilege only to thee. You know, there's one thing all cult leaders, they share. All of them. They make a privilege and the privilege about sex and money. All of them, with no exception. What do you think, people? Do you agree? You can go right now and make your own study about all cult leaders in the world without even there is some if they claim to be Christians, you know? You will see all of the same. There's two things they want. Women and money. And Muhammad have a privilege about women and about money in the Quran. The best of the booty is for Muhammad. The biggest TV is for Muhammad. The biggest car is for Muhammad. And then... He have a privilege about sex. He do not need witnesses. You believe it, but in Islam, if you don't have witnesses in a marriage, there's no marriage. This is not a marriage. This is adultery. When Zainab went been to Jahsh, Zainab, the daughter of the donkey, this is her name. Jahsh means donkey. Uh, she said to Muhammad, "Who? Where is my? Where is the witnesses?" He said, "Allah wa Jibril. Allah and Jibril, they are my witnesses. There's no witnesses. Muhammad do not need witnesses. He can boom boom anywhere." So, if a Muslim, if a normal Muslim, he do that, this is adultery in Islam. But Muhammad, he can do that. He has no need for witnesses. There is no need for permission from the father. There is no need for dowry. There is no need for witnesses. There is no need. Muhammad is God. Everything is a privilege for him. So, isn't it obvious that this man is a fraud? Isn't it? You do not need to be a genius to find out that it is a fraud. And you know, when you when those liars, they say they are offering themselves in marriage. Okay. So why Aisha, she said, Khawla bin Hakim, the Muslim, did, by the way, they, they claim 
that Khawla bint Hakim is not the aunt of uh, aunt of Muhammad. She's his auntie. But she is a whore. This woman, she is the one who she worked as a pimp. She bring him women. Most of the women Muhammad he slept with, they are coming through this woman. Khawla bint Hakim. And I can find you tons of hadith about her. But Khawla bint Hakim herself, she offered herself to the Prophet. Okay. Did Khawla bint Hakim become his wife? She was. <laughs> and look. Uh, here they say for marriage. For marriage. Where it says in Arabic for marriage? Where? It says, Wahabna and Fusahunna. They gave themselves. Where is marriage? It's not exist. But look what Aisha she said. Aisha, she is not stupid. Aisha, she got Muhammad busted. Look what she said. Aisha, she said, Doesn't a lady feel ashamed of her, of herself, presenting herself, which means giving herself, to a man? Now, if this is marriage, where is the shame? What is the shame for in there? It's marriage. Hmm? There is no shame. And then, but when the verse, O Muhammad, you may postpone and turn off of any of them, your wives, that you please, was revealed, Aisha said, Allah Messenger, I do not see, but that your Lord hurries into pleasing you. You see, she got him busted. You see this little Aisha? She's not stupid like the rest of the Abdul. She got him busted. I see that your Lord is a uh, well, I'm losing my voice again. I guess this is a sorry, guys. I know my internet is going up and down. You know, I have to to live with it. Yeah, I, I see that uh, that the internet suddenly is going up and suddenly going down. Yeah, what I can do. I live in a village. Yeah. Just uh, refresh, guys. I hope it's going to be fixed. I think this timing is wrong timing now. I don't know. Uh, anyway. So look what Aisha she said. Aisha, when, when Muhammad, he received verses about even you can delay women, you can receive women right now, she said, well, obviously you're God, obviously you're a fraud. This is what it's meant. She is saying to him clearly, you are a fraud. She said, when this verse revealed, Aisha said, O oh Allah Messenger, I do not see, but that your Lord hurries in pleasing you. Do you see it? Pleasing you sexually. Which means Muhammad according to Aisha he is using God so people obey. Women give themselves. This is why it says. Who is saying that? Aisha, not me. And is that Sahih? Yes, it's Sahih al-Bukhari. Now the Muslim, they will say, oh, Aisha, she was jealous. And this is why she said, it doesn't matter if you are jealous or not. Is Aisha a bad woman? I challenge you to say she is a bad woman. Because this statement is clearly not coming from a good woman if she is saying it just because she is jealous. Because either this statement is truthful or the statement is a lie. If it's a lie, that means Aisha is a bad woman. Who dare to say that except the Shia? They don't dare. They are potatoes. So Muhammad, he was got busted in his time. Everybody noticed that Muhammad is a fraud. But this man, he was armed with a bunch of gang, outlaw, Sa'alik. You know, in Arabic, Sa'alik is the outlaw. Like today, you know, we watch a movie about the pirate of the Caribbean or the pirate of Somalia. Hmm? 
Those are the ones who join Muhammad. I can show even from the hadith. So, all flags showing us that Muhammad was a person of a pimp house. And he made his house as a must for every woman who have no dignity to give herself. As you see, Aisha saying, is it a woman ashamed to give herself? Where is the marriage, if this is a marriage? People get married every day. There is no shame in marriage. What is the shame? And is Khawla bintu Hakim, is his wife? Count the wives for us and let us see if Khawla bintu Hakim is one of them. Uh, <clears throat> Khawla bintu Hakim, you know, if I take her name, and I paste it in the hadith, you see that this woman, she have a long history with the prostitution as a pimp for Muhammad. This is the woman who came before, obviously she is a whore. She came to Muhammad and he said, I saw a wet dream, should I wash my private part? I mean, have you ever heard of a woman have a dignity would do that? A woman, she will go to the door of the neighbor. She will knock at his door and she will say to him, I have a wet dream. What kind of a woman she is? Hmm? Now, by the way, the Muslims, they differ about khawla. They say this khawla is not the same as the khawla. There's many khawla. Hmm? And there's many of them, they are called khawla bintu hakim. But regardless if it is the same or not. What kind of women they are coming to Muhammad and what kind of, what kind of a prophet he is? Women they are coming to, like imagine, you know, people calling me and says, I have went to dream what I should do. <clears throat> hmm? People of Muta. Let us see. Anyway, do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Now, going back to the topic about Paul in the, in the Quran, and by saying that he is in the commentary, the question is, if the Quran did not speak about Paul, why Muslims are in their commentary saying it is Paul? So, if a Christian prince says Paul in the Quran, he's lying. He doesn't say it in the Quran. No, it does say that. Because the commentary is saying that. And you Muslims go by the commentary, not by the Quran. As an example, there's millions of things in the Quran. It's not exist in the Quran, actually, but it's in the commentary and you go by it. As an example, not limited. Who is Israel? Where in the Quran, as long as we are talking about the name of a person, where in the Quran it says that Israel is Jacob? Nowhere. Nowhere. Find me where a single verse in the Quran saying, that Allah he called uh, this person Israel nowhere so how you will find out you have to read other books in the Quran doesn't say any anything about that as usual nowhere it says in the Quran where in the Quran it says that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit Nowhere. They will say to you, it says that the one who sent him is the Spirit. It doesn't even say Holy Spirit. It says uh, uh, the one who sent it is the true Spirit or the decent Spirit. Where is the Holy Spirit? Nowhere. And where in the Quran it says Jibreel is a Spirit? Nowhere. And where in the Quran it says the angels are a Spirit? 
nowhere. Actually, the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says that the angels and the spirit will be lining up in ranks. So obviously the angels are not the spirit. I hope my internet will be stable for the rest of... Here we go. Chapter 78, verse number 38. Look what it says. On the day when the angels and the spirit stand aright. Okay. So if the Holy Spirit is an angel, why it says the angels and the spirit? If they are one. You know what I mean, guys? Are we listening, people? You see how stupid what they claim? All of Islam, by the way, is based on assumption. It's assumption. As you see, Jibreel cannot be the Holy Spirit because if he is the Holy Spirit, as they claim in their fantasy, then the Quran here is wrong. Because the angels and the spirit, well, if the angels are the spirit, then this is a stupid statement. Because how you say the angels and the spirit if, if the angels are a spirit? But as usual, garbage in, garbage out. And then, in order to understand Islam, you cannot understand Islam from the Quran. They have to go and see the commentary. But the second we show them what the commentary is saying, they reject it. Because they are hypocrites. So they accept it when they want, they reject it when they want. They accept the hadith when they want, they reject the hadith when they want. Islam is a very flexible cult. Anything will harm Islam, anything will make Islam uh, stupid, they will reject. Yeah, I mean, you know, we thought this internet is, uh, is, uh, is, is going better, uh, but look like it's not. <clears throat> because for the last week we have a we have a good internet we don't have we did a few broadcasts it was fine but as I'm, I'm looking right now like sometime it go suddenly go down I don't know what to do with it no we are not using internet of anyone absolutely not so anyway uh, but I think uh, here in this area they have uh, they have sharing internet which means the company they don't give you a line uh, to yourself, uh, which is like a faucet. You know, if many people open the faucet, you get less water. And I think now it is time for everybody to use it. Yeah, it's okay. Anyway, so as you see, uh, and they will say, no, CP, it doesn't say it has CP. You can say whatever you want. People are laughing at you. Anyone have little brain, he is listening and he is reading, and it says it clearly. And you know what? He said, uh, CP, it doesn't speak in the hadith about their boobs, CP. Uh, the Quran speak about the boobs. Do you mind? Or you will say this is a weak Quran now. Uh, CP, the hadith doesn't say that they are hooker and uh, they have nice boobs, CP. It says that you idiot, liar, potato. Read it. Read it. <laughs> it doesn't say, brother CP. It doesn't say that they have boobs, CP. So what they have? It says desirable front. What desirable front? Let us see what the women desirable front is. Let me guess. Ah, he's talking about the front tires. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, those people, they are suffering from a low IQ to the point you cannot imagine it. So they, they have desirable front. It doesn't mean and passages front passages i don't know my english is bad my friend passages which uh and and he and look and look at the connection between maybe desirable front passages maybe this is a shelf full of books 
Maybe because I see the sentence after it is have a connection with the sentence before it. It says, and he will have a male member that will never become flat or flaccid, i.e. soft limb. So obviously the sentence after have nothing to do with the verse uh, with the sentence before, right? Because there's no poops there. I mean, what the penis which will not sleep have to do with poops? Nothing. So how are you Christian Prince? You lie and you say this is about boobs. Where it says that? You are a liar. Desirable front passages is, uh, you know, uh, nice tires. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sentence before it, after it, is not talking about a private part of a man. Uh, it's talking about, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, you will not have a flat tire too. <laughs> what about Paul? We are talking about Paul for the last 30 minutes, and now you are asking me. <clears throat> do you see it and then they say to you this is the if cp and then he's they say sunan ibn majah is not sahih books you know it says this is one of the authentic books there are six authentic writers this is what authentic mean the reason it's not called sahih as name because this is not in the name al-bukhari it's the name of the book it's sahih it's like saying my book the deception of allah so when you say the word deception is part of the name, is the title. Hmm? Which hadith, brother, Mr. Ibn Uthman, is going to help us? Answer July 28, 2018. Hadith are oral or traditional, you know, okay. And then they are quoting for you the most authentic books. Hmm. There is only a few couple of hadith are weak. And look at this. Uh, look at the answers. Everyone giving you a different answer. For Shia, I believe the most authentic collection is Al Kafi. Yeah. Anyway. Accept the debate. No. my friend the Christian the one who is saying a Christian predator you, you see the predator is your prophet who was 54 years old going after a child she is six years old and uh, the filthy you Muhammadan when you use the word predator for what because I say to a Muslim woman reading for her what your prophet said suckle me so you you just you just admitted that your prophet is a predator because it was your prophet saying that, not me. I was just reading what is in the hadith. So look what the Muslims, this is why I say they are low IQ people. They just admitted that whoever a man, he said to a woman, suckle me, he is a sexual predator. And this is Aisha, she is ordering her sisters and her, and her, and her nieces to suckle men so they can attend to her house so anyone who say that he is a sexual predator thank you very much you just admitted that your prophet is a sexual predator you know you, you know you know arabic nobody knows arabic except you still you cannot answer now did your prophet order women to give their boobs to strangers so christian prince he will say to a muslim women suckle me did he or he did not? You say that the one who say that is a sexual predator. Admit. When your prophet order Muslim women, women, you know, giving their boobs and nipples to adult men, was he a filthy man or not? Be a man and answer. And this is your, the mother of the believers, ordering a team of women to open windows in the wall like a drive through McDonald's and they put their nipples in the windows and men they have to suckle from them. Is that a true or I'm lying? No, CP. This is not a true CP. <laughs> answer. Uh, I will answer you when you accept the debate. Will I accept the debate? I'm the one who challenged the debate, you coward. Where are they? My Skype is always open. I wait for Muslims to call me. Potatoes. 
CP, I will fly to the end of the world to humiliate you, CP. What, where, 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 you cannot do it in Skype? If you cannot do it in Skype, you cannot do it anywhere. You are a potato. He knew that this guy, I don't go in public, in the street. He knew, everybody knew that. So he's making an excuse. I never, have you ever seen me doing that? So he knew that I will not accept. So this is the way to get out. All of you are a bunch of potatoes. You have the same excuse. All of you. You see, the coward, he accepts to debate uh, apostate prophet in Skype. Why you don't do the same? Why you did not say to apostate prophet, I will fly all the way to you? Actually, they live in the same country, maybe the same town. <laughs> coward potatoes. A bunch of cowards. A bunch of cowards. That's the whole story. Making executors to get away. I made a challenge of 100 spank challenge. Me, me, Fifi. Me, me, he said, okay, we will debate the Christian prince. Uh, we call him and then he hang up on me. We call him again. He hang up on me. How many, how many times he hang up? Mute him. Hang up on him. And he called me, he called me even, he called my mother names. I did not call his mother names. And the stupid uh, Fifi, he says, look how Christian Prince, he answered Muslim, he hang up on them. And he went over all my videos to collect some videos of Muslims I'm hanging up on them because they are changing topic, they will not answer. I will give you an example. How the Muslims debate. You see, I will play a video, they themselves, they played. You remember the video, right? Just to show you how they perverted they are. They cut, they play with the videos, and they have no shame. No shame whatsoever. Muhammadan. Let us see. I was asking a Muhammadan, and this time it was a female, why you kiss the black stone? I have to repeat the question one million times. Still nobody is answering. Why you kiss the black stone? Hmm? This is an example, and this is the video they played in their scam fraud to make Christian Prince look bad because he is saying to a woman suckle me well I'm reading your prophet here we go listen to the conversation everybody will laugh at you you filthy people fraud sons of mutaz this is your sister the one you claim that she is a holy sister she was insulting Jesus saying ugly stuff about Jesus yet you Muslim you claim that Jesus is a prophet for you and you respect Jesus, don't you? Hmm. Let me see. Let me uh, let me find the video. So everybody will laugh. Potato, 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 la 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 la. La 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 la. Here we go. This is your holy sister, and the fraud, Mimi and Fifi, they play this video in their video, so they will say Christian Prince using bad language. See how bad the Christian Prince? Listen. Why the Christian? Abdullah, Abdullah, listen. Can you kiss the black stone or not? Can, can you kiss the black stone for me? When, when the next time you will go to Hajj? I want you to kiss the black stone for me. Oh, you want to, to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where, you, show me where it says in the Bible, kiss the cross. No, no, show me, you, show me. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I don't kiss anything. Show no, me where, why, you why you're a prophet, no, why no, you're a prophet, the pagan prophet, you why you're a pagan see, see, see why I hang up on them? The question is very simple. Why you kiss the black stone? They will never answer. You keep repeating the same question forever. And then what you do? Hmm? Coward potatoes. I'm asking why you kiss the black stone. There's no answer. Because she, it's embarrassing. Kiss a stone. Your prophet is a pagan man. Why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? What? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, I'm asking her, why you kiss the black stone? She said, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. I live in Morocco. I live. What does this have to do with the question? They are, they are mentally ill. 
Why you kiss the black stone? We live in Africa, I live in Somalia, I live in uh, etc. This woman, she is all over, you know. She have a business all over. You know where, you know, you know, you know what, you know what? Why you kiss, why you're a prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan, you are a pagan. Did you kiss a stone or not? Did you, do, you, do you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? <laughs> Suddenly she have answer. See? Who created she she found uh, she found like a, a place to breathe she didn't want to answer she can't answer about kissing black stone and the funny they call us pagans we are the pagans but they are the one who kisses stones and worship stones and now they were saying we know CP we don't worship stones so why you kiss at you dummy because it's a holy stones why it's holy because the prophet kisses CP so <laughs> and why he kisses it because it's holy and why it's holy because he kisses it Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you Muslims, no, kiss, you, you Muslims kiss his stones, right? Why Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother poops. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother. What? See, Fifi and Mimi Hijab they will not admit that their sister is a whore, like Aisha, like their mommies. They call me bastard, which means they are calling my mother names, but the fact they are the sons of Mutaz. And this is their sister, they cut the video. They cut the video to make me look bad, but the fact she is the one who said, look what she said. She said, Jesus, he play with his mother boobs. And I said, boobs, you must be, okay, you see, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how, you see how savage they are? Look what she said. Oh, no. Look what she said. Look what she not said. Like you. Okay, show you me. That, show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse. Uh, my internet connection is bad. Yeah, I think this timing is not good. This is the wrong timing for. I don't know what to do. I will. I will see if I we can fix this internet. Yeah, it's not going good. Um, I think now it's getting better, isn't it? It's getting better. Jesus, he played with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he played. Listen, listen, you are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say. Yeah, well, what we can do, my friends? The internet is not good. Yeah, it's my fault actually. Uh, you know, somebody, uh, you know, they said that there is different company, but I don't want like to, uh, let's see. Yeah. No, not nobody is staying the Wi-Fi. This is how it is here. Yeah, the internet here is bad. Oh boy, look like now it's coming back, let us see. Am I heard now? Yeah, this is garbage. It's not working. I know the internet is bad 
So maybe I will uh, I will try to redo it tomorrow uh, or maybe later. But obviously the internet now is not good. You know, uh, as you see, uh, this is not working. You hear me now? Yeah, it's not doing good. I don't know. I mean, you see, it says, I see in YouTube, it says uh, you have a low connection. And yeah, obviously it's bad. 